From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. You're probably aware the legal dispute between the City of Brookings and St. Timothy's Episcopal Church has been going on for the past few years. And at a recent city council meeting, Brookings resident Teresa Lawson made a public comment about the fact that there was no financial impact noted by staff regarding St. Timothy's. Lawson noted that the city is involved in a lawsuit with the church, and that means legal fees, but that no legal fees have been cited as part of the cost of that lawsuit. Lawson wondered why. So did KCIW. So we did some checking. Now, you may not be aware of this, but every month the City of Brookings makes public every check it has written for the previous month. It's part of the agenda packet for city council members, and the public can access that information online, so that's what we did. KCIW looked at the list of paid checks attached to the agendas over the past two years, and we found at least three different law firms who have been or are currently being paid by the City of Brookings. Bullard Law is listed as representing the city on court filings regarding the city's St. Timothy's lawsuit. KCIW has found checks totaling nearly $160,000 paid to Bullard Law over the past two years. But it looks like Bullard Law has closed its doors, and as of November 2023, Miller Nash now appears to be representing the city on the St. Tim's case. Miller Nash received a check for $18,660 in November from the city of Brookings. The local government law group is the third law firm paid by the city of Brookings, and over the past two years, it has received nearly $100,000 from the city of Brookings. Now, all of this work, of course, by all of these law firms aren't necessarily related to the St. Timothy's lawsuit. There are ongoing legal matters associated with running a city, and, of course, over the last year, the city manager's arrest meant additional legal fees. So just by looking at the check register, it's difficult to figure out what money was spent on regular city business, how much was spent on the legal issues surrounding the city manager, and how much money was and is currently being paid to attorneys for representation regarding St. Tim's. So... KCIW reached out to City Hall for answers, and Mayor Hodges responded by email, saying he appreciates the questions and says he's working to better understand those costs himself. He also said he had to ask some questions to understand what was being paid to which law firm. And according to Mayor Hodges, the attorneys who worked at the Bullard Law Firm now work for the firm of Miller Nash. So the city is still being represented by the same attorneys regarding the St. Timothy's lawsuit. He confirms that the local government law group is the city's general counsel and, as such, was involved in the city manager issue. Hodges says this is the kind of information that needs to be reviewed and discussed in detail and that he believes the current council is dedicated to transparency. KCIW will continue to follow this issue, and as Mayor Hodges learns more and shares what he knows, we'll bring you updates as we receive them. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.